right, today we are going to be cooking, rather smoking, some cheese dip. And what are we putting in this cheese dip? Well, I'll tell you. We're going to start with one pound of cooked breakfast sausage. We're going to add to that one block of Velveeta cheese. We're going to add to that one package of Philadelphia cream cheese. To that, one can of Rotel tomatoes, original, and one can of diced green chilies. Mm -mm. This is going to be good. And you can cook this in a regular pan if you want to. I'm going to opt for something a little bit different this time, and I'm going to cook it in cast iron. So all of that going in here, going in the smoker. Let's get to it. Get that deep, smoky flavor. Today I am using Pit Boss All Natural Barbecue Hardwood Pellets, and these are hickory. They do produce a great amount of smoke uh, because they're made with real wood. Uh, <clears throat> and they are a little bit less messy than chopping up some firewood, and they kind of look like that. But you use whatever works for you. Um, this cheese dip would be good with pecan wood, apple wood, um, hickory, you name it. So uh, this is the smoker I'm using. It's a master built vertical with a gas burner and then you insert the wood pellets into a little box in the bottom and we'll try to get it up there to about 225 to 250. All right, our next steps are to cube up the cheeses, get these can lids washed. Yes, I washed my can lids and get everything in the pot along with the sausage so we can get it on the smoker. Let the cream cheese soften up just a little bit before you open it. It'll make it come out of the package that much easier. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Yeah, I know my knife skills are a little bit awkward, but hey, I'm not a trained professional, so just cut it up as best we can. The main idea is that as the smoker is getting hot and the cheese and everything is heating up, you want to make it melt a little bit easier. The smaller you cut these up, the faster everything's going to melt, the faster you can stir everything together. And then close that door, let the smoke do its thing. After all, this is smoked cheese dip. I bet if I miss one of these cuts, someone's gonna say something in the comments, what you bet? Something about cooking just lowers the blood pressure. Now this dish is not going to lower your blood pressure. <laughs> no sir. You'll want to eat some oatmeal tomorrow morning and drink some water. All right, there we go. They're about the same size. Let's get these cans open.
you could choose to drain the juice off these green chilies. I'm going to leave it in there for a little extra flavor. Rotel, that's a different story. Probably going to drain the water off this. Now comes my favorite part. Get our trusty cast iron and into the pot go our ingredients. First up is our breakfast sausage that we browned earlier. I'll let this cool just a little bit. All right, we're going to spread that all over the bottom here for many reasons, but sausage by nature is greasy. That can be good when you're working with something like cast iron and you're starting the whole melting process with cast iron. All right, to that, we'll go ahead and spread around these Rotel tomatoes. To that, I'm gonna spread around these green chilies. This is already smelling good, y'all. I wish I could send a smell through the camera, but I can't. But trust me when I say, that smells good. And then on top of that, I'm going to add our cheese cubes. I'm not going to go just so randomly with those. I'm going to spread the cream cheese in, kind of evenly dispersed amongst the Velveeta cheese. That way when they melt and we stir it, Mmm, something really good's gonna happen. Man, I wish y'all could smell this. Even before the hickory smoke. Mmm, this is shaping up to be a really tasty dish. And yes, for those with an eagle eye, I did drop a piece of cheese on the floor. But I'm a very sanitary cook. Sanitary? Sanitary? Clean cook. How about that? So I'm going to rinse that piece of cheese before it goes in the pot. Now, it's time to fire up the smoker. Look at that. Mmm. It's going to be good. All right, to get our smoker going, <clears throat> we're going to turn on our gas. Wave the open position. <clears throat> just to make sure we have ignition we're going to open the bottom here and we're going to turn on the gas and then hit the striker until we see flame you never want to hit the striker once and assume you've got fire there we go as you can see we got a nice clean flame we'll clean up here in a minute all right <clears throat> to that put our box of pellets we got one of these little smoker boxes over the flame Get this all closed up. And we wait for the temperature to rise. We we'll put our cast iron in. Right now we're there at about, uh, well, we're climbing pretty quick actually. We're almost to 100 degrees. Once we get to about 150, we're going to go ahead and stick our cast iron pot of scrumptious cheese dip in the smoker. Yeah. All right, we're up there at about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put this cheese dip in. Look at that. Already starting to smoke. All right. Last time you're going to see it looking like that. There she goes. Oh, that smells good. Now we wait for the magic to happen. Let's go ahead and set our timer. For about 45 minutes we'll come back and check it if anyone was concerned about those pellets producing enough smoke i can give you this and this is only about three minutes into the smoke and that little pile of pellets is already generating it i mean it's coming out everywhere mm, this is going to be good this is going to be good and we're almost to our target of 250 once we hit that I'm going to go ahead and lower that burner down to low. We are smelling up the neighborhood. 
This is gonna be delicious. All right, it's time to check in on our cheese dip. And this is after about a half an hour of smoke. I know I said 45 minutes a minute ago, but we're just gonna check it to see how it's looking. Look at that. You see the little bubble there on the side? Yeah, that means that sausage is all hot. And look at the cheese here. You see that? It's got a nice smoky coating to it. And now we're gonna give this a good old stir. Pull all these ingredients together. Look at that cheese just flowing. And look at that. Woo! Gosh, I wish y'all could smell this. I wish you could smell it. And just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. <laughs> Until it's nice and blended. Take a look. Mmm. All right. And now we're going to lower the temperature. We're going to continue that smoking process for another 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll pull it off. We'll put it on the stove top to keep it hot until it's time to serve. Still smoking. All right. Moment of truth. Let's take a look at this cheese dip. my glove on before I burn myself. Take a look at that. You had a good stir. Look at that steam coming up. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hmm. Let's take this sucker inside. And let's give it a try. Well, cheese dip like this, you should have no shortage of people who want to help you give it a try. But if you find yourself in such a position, there's no shame in just giving it a try yourself. Make sure she's good and stirred. And then we'll break out a tortilla chip and see what it's all about. Look at the steam coming off that cheese. All right, here we go. Moment of... Ruth. Chip is ready. Look at that. Look at that. Smoked Velveeta and cream cheese sausage dip. I don't know. You call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it good. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. You got the smoke. You got the two cheeses. You got the sausage. Those green chilies at Rotel. This one is two thumbs all the way up. Hope you guys enjoy this. Try making you some smoked cheese dip. Totally worth it. Y'all have a blessed day.